here with my buddy Ray. We're gonna make this little tutorial on how to change a sport bike tire. And yeah, we're gonna try to make it quick so it's not too boring. And yeah, let's get into it. First thing you're gonna wanna do, you're gonna wanna fill the tire up to 60 to 80 PSI. So I already did that, so let's check what it is. All right, it's at 60 PSI. Losing air hella quick. Okay, now you're gonna get a, get a spray bottle. And we're gonna spray around. Yeah, just you're gonna see where it's leaking from. As you can see, here's some air bubbles coming out. And I guarantee you the other side's leaking too. But see if the valve stem's leaking. Doesn't appear to be. Go on the other side. Okay, step two. You want to grab yourself a uh, four-way valve, four-way valve tool, and this is so you can. This is so you can take the uh, the core out to let all the air out faster, and it also serves another purpose afterward as well. be replacing this even though it wasn't leaking with the new one too so um all right next step next thing you want to do is you want to get some soap and you want to just kind of put it around the bead actually same thing You don't need one this big. I'd recommend one half the size and half the weight because it's super hard to use. And you're just gonna pretty much plow into it in a diagonal angle down into the rim. Okay? And we do that to break the beads. All right, it's broken all around. Now we're gonna take it off. This tire doesn't really have a drop center. They're both on the same side, so you can take the tire off from either side. Motorcycle tires don't need a lot of leverage, so we're just gonna be using 12 inch tire spoons. Um, we wanna get some more soap. Get some on your hands. Just for a little bit more. Water helps too. Okay. Um, so you're gonna insert the tire spoon now. You're gonna wanna make sure that the tire is going into the drop center all around the tire. on it and everything put another one in and just make sure it's in the drop center all the way around ok 
Okay, cool. I'll look at that. That's funny. Motorcycle tires are pretty easy. The other one wasn't that easy. Okay, at this point, having the drop center. There we go. See how it's on the other side. I'm gonna get it to the other side. And now, here, put it the other way. And then, now it's like this. And you're just gonna jump. Basically, you just do this. And when it doesn't go, you're gonna get either a tire hammer or a smaller one. And you're just gonna beat it to death. This is why you should have a five pound tire hammer. So you don't need another hammer. we're gonna clean it and make sure it's not leaking anymore is first run your fingers across all the bead and make sure it's not wiry and right here it's super rough so all we're gonna do is get a I have a drill with the wire wheel attachment or you could use a angle grinder with a uh, with a wire wheel attachment for an angle grinder and you're just gonna drill out all the right all the rough spots um, but before I do that, we're gonna remove the valve core. Um, so to do that, we're just gonna take a knife. And this is a super weird valve core to be honest. I have no clue. This is how you're supposed to do it. You're supposed to cut it off over here. But maybe you cut it out over here. Alright, cool. You just cut it off on the other side. This is going to be really... Interesting. I honestly have no clue how to get this thing out. I guess I have to cut it a little bit closer. And then use a punch to get it out. Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. That's super weird. I've never seen that. Because normally... I don't know where it went, but... Normally, you just twist this thing around it, and then yank it through to get it out. But I guess it's only to get this one in. <laughs> Alright, so now that we have our wire wheel, we're just gonna wire wheel any rough parts that feel rough on our skin. Because that's where it's leaking from. Always wear eye protection. Yeah, we got eye protection on too. And we're just doing it around the bead, so from here to here pretty much, wherever it's r rough. It's pretty soft. Now we're going to do the rest, and we're going to do the valve stem uh, hole, whatever it's called, too. Um, so it won't be leaking around the valve stem. And then once uh, we've done, we're done while reeling for like 10 minutes, which we'll cut in the video, um, we'll put the tire back on. So we're going to cut to after we're all done wire wheeling. Alright, uh, now I'll, I'll, I'll 
Now all we're doing is just cleaning the very the rim where we uh, wire wheeled. Then we'll dry it off with a towel. And we're gonna clean this too. Make sure there's no nothing uh, that's bumpy like dirt. Alright, that's pretty good. Turn off the hose. Dry off the uh, the inside of the rim or whatever. Make sure it's nice and clean. And we're gonna do the same thing to the wheel and the tire. And clean up any water on the inside too. We valves them in. So uh, what you're gonna do is you actually want to lube this up a little bit. So I'm just gonna get a little bit of soap. A little bit of soap. And just smear. Okay. Now we're gonna uh, we're gonna put it through. We're gonna put this thing through here. And now that it's through, we're gonna take our valve tool and we're gonna screw this thingy my bobber on here. And it's gonna be really hard to pull through because we don't have a lot of leverage. But we're gonna just pull it through. <laughs> There we go. Okay. The good ones have a lot of leverage, but this is just a four-way valve tool. And you don't really need a lot of leverage. It's, you just need some elbow grease to pull it through. Okay, so now that that's through, uh, we're ready to put the tire back. I mean, we're yeah, we're ready to put the tire back, so. You're just gonna put a little bit of lube on the back side of the tire. Okay, and that's done. I'm just gonna, uh, I'm just gonna put the tire on, and it's actually should be pretty easy. Yeah, go right on. Okay, easy. Now we'll take a little bit more lube. Um, I'm gonna put it around here. Smear it in everywhere. Okay, perfect. Now we're gonna get our tire spoons. We're just gonna use our knees and try to get up as high on it as we can without using the tire forks on the tire spoons. And then we're gonna insert one, put it in, insert one. Put it in. When you're doing this, make sure that the back of it's in the drop center or else you literally won't be able to because it'll be too hard. You're going to take another bite while making sure this is in the drop center. I'm going to put your knee up so it's... Uh, so it holds the bead there. Back still in the drop center, so I'm gonna take another one. Go up again. Make sure it's in the drop center, and it is. So it's all good. Take another bite. Take another bite. 
Take another little tiny bite. Oh. Or a big bite. There we go. Okay. So now that it's on. Um. We don't really need to add any soap at this point. Um, so now we're just going to fill it up to 60 PSI. Alright, we're filling up the uh, air compressor. I really hope that the air compressor doesn't seal the two beads that it needs to seal because I really want to use some starter fluid. So we'll see if you guys are lucky and get to be entertained by doing some starter fluid seeding the beads. Alright, at this point, we're going to want to add air. It's going to pop twice, so look away. So you don't get sprayed in the, uh, there it goes, pop twice, so bead sat pretty easily. Um, and we're going to fill it up to 60 PSI, 60 to 80 PSI again, so that way we can see if it's leaking. Alright, it's at 60 PSI, so um, we're going to see if there's any leaks now. And we'll see if we did a good job. Why are we doing it? First, I'll spray around the valve stem. And I don't see any bubbles coming up on this side either, so that means with our 10 minutes of wire wheeling, we fixed it. Even though we should have wire wheeled for like uh, 30 minutes, that's what you should do to make sure it's super good. But a uh, drill wire wheel is pretty weak compared to an angle grinder wire wheel, so anyways, looks like we fixed it. So yeah, um, that's the end of the video. Work it kinda faces like somebody's taking pictures Shut it down, down